Hello everybody, today I'll tell you DPF run out in a few minutes. Tokyo Disney Sea latest news. Actually, Fantasy Springs will be open on 6th June. I went to this new area, it was amazing. So I'll tell you about uh, you know how to get in the park and how to enjoy it. So let's get started. Here's today's contents. First, crowds in Fantasy Springs. Second, DPA and standby pass. Third, merchandise. I went to Fantasy Springs, it was just before the opening day, but uh, it was luckily open. So I'll tell you what time you should come to Tokyo Disney Sea or what what time you need to get the pass. So number one, crowds in Fantasy Springs. Waiting time changed irregularly. Here I'll tell you about the 28th uh, May, it was uh, opening day. It was just before opening day of Fantasy Springs, but it was luckily opened here in Fantasy Springs. So all attraction was moving. So there are four attractions you can do. Also, Anna and Elsa's Frozen Journey, and Rapunzel's Land Town Festival, Peter Pan's Neverland Adventure. Lastly, Fairy Tale Tinkerbell Blizzy Buggy. So it's from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. So let me start with Anna and Elsa's Frozen Journey. This is actually the most popular rise in Fantasy Springs. So from 9 to 10 a.m. it was stopped, so you couldn't enjoy attractions. It was starting from 10.30, it's like at 60 minutes from 10.30 uh, to 11, and it was 45 minutes from 12 p.m. And after that, uh, 1 p.m. it was not, you know, moving. So 2 p.m. from 5 p.m. It was a 70 minutes to 100 minutes and 140 minutes wait. And at 6 p.m. it was a 70 minutes. After that, the attraction stopped. So it's kind of problem here. Uh, due to some you know problem of the system, the attraction uh, suddenly stopped. So if you cannot ride on the attractions, I think you're gonna get a DPA uh, for another attractions, or you can get your money back. Next one, Rapunzel's Lantern Festival. So the attraction was started from 10:30 with a 10 minutes, and after that it will be 30 to 70 minutes until 1 p.m. and then 40 minutes and then 20 minutes and then 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. and after that it will be 40 to 35 minutes and a 10 minutes and a 55 minutes at night. After that, uh, the lastly, uh, 8 p.m., it was a 70 minutes wait. Next one, Peter Pan's Neverland Adventure. The attraction was stopped until 12 p.m. The ride was started from 1 p.m. and it was suddenly 75 minutes wait. And after that, that, it, that was a 20 minutes wait from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. The attraction was stopped due to some problem for the system. Fairy Tinkerbell's Busy Buggy. It was a 5 minute wait at uh, 9 a.m. and then uh, 10 a.m. is a 5 minute wait as well. And then it was a 130 minutes for 11 to 12 p.m. The 1 p.m. is a 140 minutes. And after that, it was like around 75 minutes to 85 minutes wait. So at the moment, so this attraction is the most, you know, waiting time rides. But uh, why why is it so long? The reason why is uh, for Fairy Tinkerbell's Busy Buggy, it's, you know, only DPA you can, on the standby pass, you can use it to enjoy the ride. So other attractions, you if you have a DPA or standby pass, you can enjoy it. So Fairy Tinkerbell's Busy Buggy is many people get uh, Standby pass and the waiting time was very long. Again, the, if, if the attraction stops, you can get a multiple experience pass, which is a, a DPA for another rise. So let's make use of it. Uh, when it comes to DPA, you have two choices either get your money back or change it to another attraction, which is available for DPA. So here's a summary uh, Peter Pan tend to get stopped uh, due to system problems. Tinkerbell is very crowded at the moment. Rapunzel is less crowded compared to others. Anna Nelson must be the most popular rise in Fantasy Springs. So, you definitely need to have a standby pass or DPA to enjoy the ride. So, if you get a DPA or standby pass, 
you can choose a time which time whichever you want but um it's quite difficult to which time is a very long queue or not so please you know get in the park and then get uh, dpa or standby pass after that uh, i will tell you about what time the dpa or standby pass was run out so please watch it next one second dpa and standby pass what time was dpa and standby pass run out so uh, here is a detail of the 28th may to 1st june actually the fancy springs was uh, pre-open so many people could have a chance to get in here and uh, standby pass on the disney premiere access is you know as you can see uh, this is a quite limited so you definitely need to get in the park very early in the morning actually i went to the fantasy springs on 2nd of june i'm sorry i couldn't uh, put uh, uh, 2nd of June's detail here in the chart but uh, I arrived at uh, 6 a.m. in the morning at uh, entrance then I luckily could get a standby pass and a mobile order for lunch but uh, here as you may see uh, I'll tell you about the Disney Premier Access first uh, first of all Anna and Elsa's frozen journey is quite early in the morning the pass was run out uh, 28th May, 8.35, 29th May, 8.22, uh, 30th May, 8.20, uh, 31st May, 8.25, 1st June, 8.20. The actual park was open at 8.15 uh, a.m. So it's just uh, 5 minutes the Disney Premier Access run out. That's crazy, right? The next one, Rapunzel's Lantern Festival. Here is kind of the same with uh, Alan Elsa's Frozen Journey. The most, mostly the timing, the DPA run out was the same with Anna and Elsa's Frozen Journey. Uh, Peter Pan Neverland Adventure as well. So it's like 8.20, the DPA will be run out. So please uh, get in the park before 20, um, 8.20. So how can you do? Uh, better be at the park around uh, 5.30 a.m. Very early, right? Next one, Fairy Tinkerbell's Busy Buggy. It's uh, only standby pass available. It's uh, 9.30 for 28th May and it's around 8.40 to 9.30 a.m. You can get a standby pass. And then, Anandens has Frozen Journey. This one's also very early. You, the standby pass has run out. 8.50, 20th May, 29th May, 8.20, 30th May, 8.20, 31st May, 8.25, 1st June, 8.20. Rapunzel's Lantern Festival. This is a bit, uh, you know, less crowded compared with Alan Elsa's Frozen Journey. It's like 30 minutes later, you can get a standby pass uh, of the Alan Elsa's Frozen Journey. It's like standby pass, 9.20 for 28th May. Uh, 29th May, 847, 30th May, 850, and 920, 850. Peter Pan's Neverland Adventure. It's uh, kind of same with the Rapunzel's Runtown Festival. It's around 920 to 955. So that's it about it. So once you get in the park, better get a standby pass at first, and then get a DPA as well. And if you're two or three people, please uh, do you know, one person get a standby pass, and the other one get a Disney Premier Access, and the other one get a mobile order. Let's do it. So, if you'd like to have a lunch in the Fantasy Springs, you should get a mobile order. So there are three re restaurants, but uh, all three restaurants you must have a, a mobile order before that. So, I uh, guess because not. Do mobile order after 10.30. Our uh, Royal Banquet is the first uh, to be run out at around 8.40. It's very quick, right? I actually had a lunch at uh, Anandel's Our and Royal Banquet. It was very yummy. Let's get it. Number three, merchandise. Where can we buy Fantasy Springs merchandise? So if you come to Tokyo Disney, you really want to get the merchandise of Fantasy Springs, right? 
But there are four shops which is available, uh, Emporio, Valentina Suites, Dasley P. Well Shop, Fantasy Springs Gift. Uh, this one is uh, inside of the Fantasy Springs area. So how to enter? Uh, you definitely do a standby pass, you need to do it. Emporio, the 3 p Hotel Shop, you need a standby pass, it was worn out at 8.35. Valentina Suite, uh, this is the shop, you can buy the sweets, you can enter anytime. Lastly, Fantasy Springs Gift, you need an entry pass. So if you go around the Fantasy Springs, you can uh, get the Fantasy Springs entry pass, Fantasy Springs Gift entry pass. Ask the cast and you can get it. But uh, I, it was like a 50 minutes to wait to get a uh, entry pass in Fantasy Springs Gift. So good luck. Oh, how was uh, today's video? Thanks for watching. Do you really want to go to Fantasy Springs? Uh, here I told you about uh, good information uh, to enjoy the Fantasy Springs. Hope you have a wonderful time at Disney. Uh, please subscribe my channel and I've got my TikTok account and Instagram account as well. If you really want to get to Fantasy Springs, please give me some questions. I'll answer as soon as I can. So when I, you know, uh, try to remember, when I try to say about the uh, day I went to Fantasy Springs, you were so amazing. Everywhere I go, it's like, is it really Japan? It's like a fantasy world I was seeing. And uh, everywhere I see, there are many, you know, many nice decorations around me. So if you get around to the uh, Peter Pan's area, there are very nice Peter Pan films, something you can remember. There are many things. You can see the pirates and some lost kids, uh, relate, related things. So please uh, look for it and uh, hopefully you're going to have fun in Disney Sea. That's it. See you in the next video. Bye bye.